you're watching this, it's your turn. It's your turn to see your patience finally pay off, to see that your worth, what you deserve, what you're capable of, it never changed, even with the ups and downs of your life. Because it's your... All right, do you need some motivation? Well, who doesn't? It's just a click away these days, though. Thanks to these Instagram posts, mindfulness expert Case Kinney routinely goes viral for placing inspirational quotes around cities across the U.S., and we wanted to tap into some of his positivity this morning. So Case joins us live now. Case, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. And let's Good morning. Start off, Thank you. Hi. Yeah, let's start off by telling us what inspired you to start posting quotes in public places, how you came up with this particular idea. Yeah, at the time I, I lived in Chicago and, you know, I've been hosting a podcast for a long time. I'm fortunate to, to make a living from that. And I was basically looking for a way to challenge myself, to simplify some of the thoughts that I talk about on the podcast. And I was like, I want to be able to distill these thoughts into, you know, a sentence or two. And I was like, well, maybe I'll write them down. And I started writing them down on pieces of paper, coffee cups, because I drink a lot of coffee. And I lived in Chicago and I had the beautiful backdrop. And I just started posting them on the, on the street. Um, my handwriting got better and better. People started to enjoy them uh, and share them. And the rest is kind of history, just focused on relatable mindfulness, mental health aspects, things that can make people more self-aware, happier, healthier, uh, and more fulfilled. Now, we know you've been to Seattle. I understand you haven't posted anything yet here. So we look forward to that on your next visit. But we just kicked off a new year. So how can we make sure we have the best year yet? What should we prioritize in your mind and why? Yeah, I mean, I would say a couple of different things. I'd say for one, um, I think for this year, like staying in our lane, that is not comparing ourselves so much. I'm obsessed with the statistic I keep seeing posted around that 10% of our daily thoughts are devoted to comparing ourselves to other people. And I think that's just obviously exacerbated by social media. We compare ourselves a lot. Um, and I think it's great to compare yourself in some senses to be inspired by other people as proof of what is possible and to have that motivate you. But oftentimes I see we're very quick to compare ourselves from a, a place of lack. They have something that I want. I don't have it, therefore I'm less, I'm falling behind, yada, yada, yada. I think it's healthy if we can just look to other people's example as proof of what is possible and stay in our lane and use that as motivation. I would say that that's number one is stop the comparison. Yeah. Speaking of motivation, look at your Instagram page. It seems like you've got endless motivation and positivity, but how do you suggest other folks can do the same? Yeah, uh, I have a lot of thoughts for sure, uh, which gives me a lot to talk about. I mean, I would say the key is mindfulness. That's what I do. I consider myself someone who is in the mindfulness space. All mindfulness is is self-awareness, intention driven by self-awareness, the intention of asking yourself why. I would say when it comes to other people and finding motivation in their life or inspiration in their life, I think it really does come from that place of radical self-awareness. Sit down, go to therapy, journal, you know, listen to podcasts, listen to other people's content, be inspired to go inside instead of out. That is stop comparing, go inside, find these places of truth within yourself, find a, a source of pride. I encourage people to be proud of themselves for their journey to get here, even if they're not where they want to be yet. And I think the practice of mindfulness in whatever form it takes, it could be a walk, it could be yoga, it could be meditation, it could be journaling. I think that really is the key to finding that motivation in yourself to, to do, do more, to do better, um, to be happier. All right, mindfulness expert Case Kenny, thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing your posts next time you make a trip through the Northwest.